Hey y'all, good morning, it's Wendy here. Today is Thursday, November 12th, 2020. Alright, we're in Psalm 86. The whole chapter is amazing, I'm just going to read it. Hear, O Lord, and answer me, for I am poor and needy. Guard my life, for I am devoted to you. You are my God, save your servant who trusts in you. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I call to you all day long. Bring joy to your servant, for to you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. You are forgiving and good, O Lord, abounding in love to all who call to you. Yes. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Listen to my cry for mercy. In the day of my trouble, I will call to you, for you will answer me. Among the small g gods... That's false gods. There is none like you, O Lord. No deeds can compare with yours. All the nations you have made will come and worship before you, O Lord. They will bring glory to your name, for you are great and do marvelous deeds. You alone are God. Teach me your way, O Lord, and I will walk in your truth. Give me an undivided heart that I may fear your name. I will praise you, O Lord my God, with all my heart. I will glorify your name forever. For great is your love toward me, and you have delivered me from the depths of the grave. That actually happened to me. The arrogant are attacking me, O God. A band of ruthless men seeks my life, men without regard for you. But you, O Lord, are a compassionate and gracious God, slow to anger, abounding in love and faithfulness. Turn to me and have mercy on me. Grant your strength to your servant and save the son of your maidservant. Give me a sign of your goodness that my enemies may see it and be put to shame. For you, O oh Lord, have helped me and comforted me. Y'all, is that not awesome? Whew, that's good stuff. We can pack it up and go home. Just kidding. I'm home already. All right. And then in the New Testament, Mark chapter 10, verse 14, Jesus says, Suffer the little children to come unto me. With men it is impossible, but not with God, for with God all things are possible. Then blind Bartimaeus was a beggar, and he cried out when he heard Jesus was walking by. So Jesus healed his sight. That's incredible. It all starts with a budget. That is my version devotional by... Kimberly Washington, who is a CPA, which means she knows what she is talking about. So it says, well, for me personally, I need to get like one of my file folders that I can stay organized with all my, <coughs> excuse me, payment systems. So what I'm doing, um, what she's, well, this is what I, my specific finances, um, so it says, basically, um, as soon as you get paid, pay your 10% tithe to God, which is such pennies compared to the fact that all of it's God's anyway. God's anyway. Um, 60% back into my business and 40% to pay my bills. Um, and... Let's see, you know, paying our bills. Um, if you get a regular paycheck, like let's say the 1st and the 15th of the month, then um, she said to pay um, your bills on the 1st and the 15th as soon as you get your money. And then put, the re put some in savings. Um, she had suggested a um, savings automatic savings account where your bank does that for you like you put the percentage or the amount that you want um put in your savings every you know twice a every time you get paid or whatever you can probably decide when 
And then you won't have to worry about, oh, I didn't save any money this week. All right. Um, and then 1 Corinthians 14.40 says, Let all things be done decently and in order. I don't know about you. I'm more of a fly by the seat of my pants person, which is not good when it comes to finances. So all of this is going to be challenging for me, and I'm not good at math. So thank the Lord for calculators. Um, but um, there are disciplines and things that we will always need to do in this life that... Um, when we get to heaven, we'll be perfect. We won't have to worry about all this, y'all. So, it's temporary. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. All right. Let me say a prayer for us. God, please just help us. Um, today, it's rainy, and it's very hard to get motivated on rainy days, even though some people love the rain. My mom does, as you know. Um, God, I just pray that we will stay focused on you and not anything else that we can um, just consistently plug along and get what you want us to get done and help us to just talk about you, spread your word, spread your love. I love you, God. We love you, God. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Love you guys. See you soon. Bye.